What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're hopping back onto ChatGPT to build us a deck and take online. Now last time we played Dino and it wasn't too bad. This time we're going in with one of my favorite decks, the deck that essentially got me into Yu-Gi-Oh all together as a whole, not just playing the card game but even watching the anime. So I'm really excited but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one and if you guys want more ChatGPT content let me know in the comment section down below but otherwise we do deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff right here on the channel we also upload 10 videos a week five long videos five short videos so you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that let's get right into chat gpt all right so we're back here on chat gpt and uh last time we did dino and it actually built us a pretty good dino deck and in today's video you know i thought i would do it again because i thought this concept was really cool but we're getting our game on today because we're going to be doing it with hero so we're going to go on chat GPT and we're gonna give chat GPT a name and it's going to have to build a hero deck based off that name so I think the name that we're gonna go with is either gonna be get your game on or something along the lines of hero so let me, let me, let's start with get your game on all right so please build me a deck with the name get your game on and maybe they're gonna take this as hero maybe it might take it as GX theme so uh, I'm gonna say using the name we're not with the name. All right, so let's get right into it. So sure, I can help you build a Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Okay, it is Neos. It is Hero. Okay, we got some King of the Swamps. We got a single Stratos, though. Ghost Ogre, Veiler. We got a Maxi. That's legal. We can switch that out. Illegal, I should say. Rhoda, Hero Lives. Okay, these are some really weird ratios. I'll be honest. Some weary, really odd ratios, but it's definitely a deck. It's definitely a hero deck. Um, the strategy is this deck is to use Elemental Hero Neos and their support cards to make powerful fusion monsters. You can use E-Emergency Call and reinforcements of the army to search out elemental heroes and king of the swamp to search out your polymerization miracle fusion and fusion destiny oh we get fusion destiny in here was that it? oh it is in there okay so um while that's typing that all out everything here looks pretty legal except uh, called by the graves a one of and we only we don't have any max C so what I'll do is I'll swap those two cards for I guess maybe an extra hero lives and an extra Stratos that sound fair I think that sounds fair this is still really impressive I'm really impressed by this I'm gonna be honest with you but let's go build the deck and then take it online now after taking a look at this deck I'm going to have to make some changes so I already took out the maxi in the second called by the grave however I noticed that there's fusion destiny but we have no destiny hero targets so I'm gonna remove this it's okay because the rest of the deck is still gonna be 43 cards so it's not like I have to add anything into the main deck however there are starving venom as well as mud dragon in the extra deck that I can't really make without super poly what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these fusion destinies because technically what is supposed to be 45 cards in the main deck to super poly so this way I can have the two you know fusion destinies fusion cards as more fusion cards so this way I can make these but we're only at 14 cards here so we can put in a 15th card and honestly at this point I feel like it doesn't matter what I put in it's all going to be bad but let's just put an elemental hero fusion monster. Let's see what's in here. You know what? Let's just put in wake up your elemental hero, the newest elemental hero fusion support card. Okay, cool. That's the deck guys. Look at it. It doesn't look too good. I'm not too excited to be playing it because I'm not sure how this is actually going to pan out. So let's get into some duels and we're going to have to try it out. All right, we're getting into our first duel here. I honestly don't expect much. I also don't even know if I want to go first or second. I feel like I want to go second. There's a lot of hand traps. We put in the super polys. So I mean... Yeah, it's not a horrible hand, to be honest with you, actually. It's not that bad. E-Call is kind of nice. We get the Stratos. We also get Hero Lives to get the Stratos. Hero Lives could also get us to Shadow Mist because we have the E-Call. So we might be able to actually play this. But depends on what we're playing up against, right? Because if they make a full board, I have no hand traps here, so I have nothing to stop it. Going first, this hand would have actually been good. Maybe maybe that was my misplay. Going, I should have gone first here. But let's see what our opponent's playing. I have no idea what it could be, to be honest with you. Uh, this hand actually doesn't look too bad for Chat GPT Hero. Foolish goods. What are we goodsing into? This is essentially when we find out what the deck it does, or what the deck is, I should say, because it could be a salvation. Oh, Clockwork Knight. Okay. Oh, this has a this has a graveyard effect. Okay, this is Earth Machine or Varun Salif. Yeah, it's Varun earth machine this deck is actually a deck i saw a while ago which i thought was kind of interesting actually i don't know what it exactly puts up i guess it depends on what it goes into i feel like it puts up the the dread cannon i feel like that's kind of where it wants to go i don't know we'll see where it goes here man going first against this actually would have been really good imagine putting up a dark law oh my god dark law into this would have been insane the misplays just before i even started playing the game i misplayed that's crazy but i, I don't know this still looks pretty good 
I mean, I'm still not too sad about it because I feel like they're going to have to use a lot of cards from their hand to get these effects off, which means that they may not have hand traps. I mean, even if they do have a hand traps, I have a call by the grave. Let's let him combo though, because I have no idea, honestly, where this is going to go, but let's just wait till he finishes combo. Okay, so this is his end phase, and it's actually not a horrible end phase. It may not seem like the craziest thing, but he has a Super Dora, which can target a card and make it unaffected by card effects. And then he also has a Goliath under it, which means it can't be destroyed by card effects, which is kind of cool. However, I do have a Cosmic Cyclone for this one back row. So, you know what, we're just going to right away get rid of this uh, back row, because I don't even want to deal with it. I don't want to look at what it is. He has no hand traps though, so we know this and this is going to go through, which is really nice. Oh, the rivalry was a good hit there. That was a good hit. All right, so let's start off with a hero lives then. I feel like this could do some damage. I'm honestly not sure how I'm going to get over this Dora though. I don't think we have an out in our deck for Dora, which is kind of crazy. I feel like we just go into Shadow Mist here for the mask change. This is pretty, yeah, we have the e-call for Shadow. So yeah, let's go into the Shadow Mist here for the mask change. We're going to activate the Shadow Mist effect, and then we're going to be able to mask change here, which is kind of nice. And then what I'm going to have to do is look into our deck to see if there's any cards that can destroy this board. Sunrise would be nice. I just don't know if I have a way to Sunrise. All right, let's go e-call. Okay, so we're going to go e-call here, search into our Stratos. I don't think Alias actually does it for us because Brave Neos won't do it for us. So I think we have to go into Stratos here. I don't think Brave Neos is going to do it for us. So let's go into Stratos. We're going to normal summon our Stratos here. Activate its effect, of course, to search a card from our deck. The thing is, we don't have a lot of options for hero monsters because we just loaded up on neoses and aliases so let's just search an alias here i guess i have not drawing a poly or anything kind of does hurt because we have no way to get to poly in this deck we don't have vision heroes we don't have any of that stuff so that is a little bit sad but what we can do is we can actually do this all right so we'll set the strike and then we'll set the mass change here we'll set these we'll play it slow let's go into battle phase just attack over this i guess doesn't hurt to get a card off the field here and then we can just pass our turn this is kind of like what kind of back row hero deck is this it's kind of crazy we're playing just control hero at this point but all he has is the dora even though this can be kind of scary i won't lie there are definitely ways to out it. We just have to eventually draw into one of those ways. Okay, so he's going to go straight into battle phase here. I guess we'll take the battle phase. It's not a big issue. We don't even have mass change for blast. Uh, we can only mass change for dark law here. And I really don't want to do that right now. We, we, we end up losing the dark law if we do it that way. And honest Neos would have been insane. Honest Neos, if we had one in this deck, would have been insane. But uh, yeah, I guess we let that go through. That's no problem. We'll use its effect though. At least we can get another search, which is kind of nice here. Let's search uh, maybe another Stratos. Let's get that out of our deck. This is kind of nice. Alias could be good. I'm just not sure. Brave Neos doesn't do it for us. Poly would be really good though. Or Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion would also be insane. If I top Miracle Fusion here, we have plays. Or Poly, because Poly gets us to Sunrise and uh, and Sunrise will get us into... Yeah, Poly gets us to Sunrise, Sunrise will get us to Miracle Fusion. We're fine. If we can just draw Poly, we, we play three Poly, we play two Miracle Fusion. So we have to... There's a, There has to be a way. He's banishing this to Special Summon 1 from Grave. You know what? I might just call by the grave that. Let's do it. But what's the target though? Okay, he targeted Tunneler. Okay, let's get rid of Tunneler. So this way at least he can't get that on the field. Makes our lives a little bit better. So all he has is Adora. Again, it can't it can be destroyed by a battle. This is the only way it can be destroyed. So I need to make something over 3200. And there's a lot of ways to make stuff over 3200. I just need to get to the card to go into my extra deck. It's gonna I'm gonna make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. One way or another, I'm gonna make this happen. Oh, it's right here, baby. Right here. Right here. You're gonna see it. Right here. We're going to draw Neos. Okay. That's not good. Um, that's not great. I'll be honest with you. I just took in Brave Neos also can't be contact fused. So what I'll do, <laughs> oh my God, is this actually going to be the play? I'm going to summon Stratos. I'm just going to deck thin as much as possible. I think we just literally have to deck thin as much as possible so that we don't draw into these bricks later on. So let's, uh, I guess, search. I don't want to search the Shadow Mist. I'll keep the Shadow Mist in deck. I guess we search another alias. This is so bad. Okay, Polly, please. Let's put this to defense. And then I guess we'll end our turn here. Oh my God. Oh my god, please, I need to survive one more turn. How am I at 1300, by the way? Wait, how am I at 1300? Did I take effect damage anywhere? I thought I only took this. Is this right? Oh, I took... I did a hero lives! Oh no! Wait, I just lose here! I didn't pay attention to my life points! Oh, and I don't even have... A, that's so bad! I was not paying attention to my life points. Oh my god, he if he doesn't realize it either, I could be safe, but he might just go into battle phase. I don't even have enough life points to activate strike. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're going next, we're going next, we're going next, we're going next. 
All right, let's see if we can win the rock, paper, scissors this time. This is our last duel of the day. Okay, we're going to go first this time. Okay, let's draw the same way. We did not draw the same way. That definitely is not the same as our last hand. The same, Our last hand was insane. But you know what? Let's just set two here. And I guess what we can do is just pass. There's no point in summoning Alias here. So let's just pass on the set two. Strike Imperm, I feel like, can be good. I feel like that's a lot of uh, disruption here. If we just get to a single Stratos, it could be a pretty good time here. So, okay, Illusion of Chaos. We'll let that go through. The Illusion of Chaos effect will can go through as well. I don't mind souls. There's no point in striking this because if I strike this, he... Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Tamias. Tamias Confusion something though. So I, I guess I can strike that. Oh man, that last hand was insane. I could have actually had a W. We don't think... I don't think I'm taking no Ws today though. Oh, I have to imperm this. I have to imperm this. I have to imprim this. Yeah, I have to imprim this. I can't let it go through. I just hope he plays into the imprim column. Oh, please play into the imprim column. Activate something right now in the imprim column. Do it. See, this is why you don't strike the illusion of chaos. Imagine he already had souls in his hand. It's kind of insane. So what is he doing? Summoning Dark Magician? Sure, he can summon Dark Magician. I don't think this really does much for him. I'll do a lot of damage though, I'll be honest. He's going to do a lot of damage this turn. And if, uh, yes, I knew he was going to go into this. Okay, so I think I have to strike this. I, I mean, I could strike the on-field effect, but I'm just going to strike this now to get it off the board. I have to, don't, I don't have to worry about this. So I just have to worry about Dark Magician right now, which is very dealable with. Oh my God, this is very dealable with. Let me just get to a Stratos or draw Hero Lives. Hero Lives into Shadow Mist or Hero Mist. No, that's not anything. That's none of that. That is none of that. We're going to set a card and we're going to pass our turn. No, please. Just a Stratos or a Hero Lives or an E-Call or I don't even know what else, but there's so many cards that we could draw and we're not drawing them. Yes, we're going to Ash it. We don't want you to get to Tamias again. I don't have Strike Imprim anymore. Oh my God. Wait, this is not a once per turn. Is it actually not a once per turn? There's no way. Oh wait, no, he used Prep. He didn't use Illusion. I'm sorry. I thought it was the same thing because this got him to Illusion. Oh no, I should have. I thought he put back the Illusion though. I guess we don't see what he puts back. He's just going to summon another Dark Magician here. Is he just going to go double Dark Magician? Oh my god, he is going to go double Dark Magician. All right, I'll take some damage, I guess. It is what it is. Can't really do much about it. I can survive one more turn. This is all I have. I have one more turn here. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not actually exactly sure what I can top deck into or draw into right now. Maybe a Shadow Mist and go into an Anki that's bigger than these Dark Magician. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what? Can he not attack or something? I feel like I lose here anyways. <laughs> I feel like I lost there. What happened? Wait, what happened? Is there a reason why he can't attack? Alright, whatever. We get to survive one more turn. Let's see if we win. Something good. Not good. We, we, we do this. We do this. We're gonna try to survive as many turns as possible. We survive, we survive, we survive, we survive. Okay, let's go. Let's draw something big right now. Miracle Fusion would be really good. Um, that's not really good. I'm just going to set the monster. Oh my God, let's survive, let's survive. Survive, please. I just need to draw any way to get to a fusion monster. Miracle Fusion would be insane. Miracle Fusion would be insane, I think, because I have Stratos and Neos Alias in there, which means I can go to Sunrise. Sunrise can search another Miracle Fusion. Okay, let's go, let's go, Miracle Fusion. Okay, E-Call, E-Call, it's a play, it's a play, but E-Call into Stratos. E-Call doesn't really do much for me. Get some monster at least. It's not great, but it's definitely not horrible. I can go into Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist into into Anki. Anki, yeah, Shadow Mist. Skill Drain is fine, sure. Uh, that's fine i'm gonna go activate mass change into this go into anki's 2800 and then we can use shadow miss effect we can search the shadows for next turn let's go we're making plays we're making plays kind of making plays yeah let's just go into end phase okay we're okay for now i think we just as long as he doesn't draw a monster with 1500 we're okay kind of hopefully battle phase he's gonna crash he's not gonna crash okay now we have plays but he has skill drain. That does make it a little bit tougher, actually. We can at least go Stratos. No effect, obviously. We can go into battle phase. Oh, does this destroy all... I think this destroy is all special summon monsters, right? I don't know. We're, gonna about to, we're about to figure it out. And then attack directly. We did damage. Okay. Now, we just have to survive until we draw a miracle. A miracle fusion here just wins us the game. Miracle fusion in any way wins us the game. Okay, that's fine. I don't need... Oh, wait. I do need spell cards. Oh, wait, no. He doesn't have a spell caster. It doesn't matter. Foolish brother. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Oh, he does control a spellcaster. This makes it a lot harder now. I think we just lose now. We don't have access to our fusion cards. Does he have another Dark Magician? He can summon another Dark Magician, right? Oh my god, he can. <sighs> I thought we had something going. We just couldn't draw anything. This was, um, not great. It's over. Can't believe it's over. Chat GPT. It couldn't win us a game with Hero. <laughs> the first game had so much potential, but we lost. We lost.
So that is it for today's video, and I'm gonna be honest with you, that was kind of underwhelming. I'm gonna be real, ChatGPT did not build us the best hero deck because honestly, like the last dino deck was okay. This one, it just played a bunch of bricks. Three Neos in the main deck, for what reason? And three Neos alias? And then we didn't even have a lot of good cards in the extra deck as well, so it was kind of mid, to be honest with you. I did misplay though, because in that first game, that hand was actually pretty good. Had we gone first, I think we actually would've won that game, but going second, it does become a little bit more difficult. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it may not have been the best ChatGPT video, but it was definitely a ChatGPT builds hero. And maybe in the future, we try to build hero again with ChatGPT. So thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.